Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a kind of super enhancer, if you like, um, that just enhances pictures and you have a wide range of pictures, not all, but quite a few, um, with the channel mixer. So uh, I just, let's put on a channel mixer here. And um, what we do, we start off then with the red. I'm going to boost all reds where there is red. So red goes up all the way to 100. So it's adding another 100 to it. 100% rule, everything should add up to 100% to preserve whites. So I am going to bring down the blue down to minus 100. There we go. And the reds are, have come up quite a long way. That's okay. So this is saying where there are reds and blues, turn down the reds again. So it's brought it back a bit, but where there's just reds, it's more red. Let's go to green. And what we're going to do with green is we're going to put red up. We're going to move red up. So where there is red, let's put more green, which will make it a bit more orange. Where there is blue, push up the green to get, add, bring in the teal. And to compensate for that, we need to bring the third one down again. In fact, what we'll do is to make it even out, we'll have 33%, 33%, and 33%, which will keep it all, the whites, balanced out again. So we've got a lot more teal and orange in here now. Notice the greens go orange, so it works in some areas, not others. And blue, we will take the red down to minus 100 because, oh, let's do it this way. This is rolling the mouse wheel to get it down to minus exactly 100. And then I'll put the blue up. So in other words, where there is red, a lot of red, turn any blues in that. and blue goes the other way. So this is the overall effect which is rather extreme. However there's a couple of different things I can do to this which will make more sense. One alternative is to bring the opacity down to 50%. Now that's a bit more usable isn't it? I'll turn that off and on. See off and on. See that's, that's actually not bad now. So it's brought out the oranges, it adds teal into the shadows, which are, you know, now they've got that, that, that light blue in. The greens are, are a bit more reasonable too. They've come back a bit more. There's a bit of orange in them, but that's kind of okay. So there is this effect. Um, I can also, if I turn that back up again, I can also change the blend mode of this. If I change that to soft light, that comes out again. In fact, that gives quite a sort of a strong effect. Again, you can turn down the opacity, if you like, of that. But let's just leave that up. What I'm going to do with this as well um, is if I go back up to here, say add pre preset, I'll call this one just call it Super Enhancer. There we go. So now let's go to some other pictures and see if we can put them in. Here's another picture. I go to Adjustments, go to Channel Mixer, and in here, Super Enhancer. Ping! There we go. That's made a difference, hasn't it? Let's go back to the layers here. See, before and after. That's given a quite striking effect. Again, we can adjust the opacity to suit to bring it, make it a bit more subtle if we like. Try another one. Go to Adjustment and Super Enhancer. Again, it's strengthened it quite a lot, isn't it? Look at that. The before and after. Before and after. Here's another one. Adjustments, Super Enhancer. Again. We can adjust the opacity to suit. 
And here's another one. Adjustments. Super Enhancer. You can adjust the opacity here as well. Strengthen that up. And one more just to show we can do with lots of them. There you go. So in other words, it's, it has quite a nice effect. You're tilting the colours in various ways. But you've got an effect here that you can use and reuse. It doesn't work on all pictures, but there's quite a few different pictures. There. It's, it's quite good. So a little finding formula like this is kind of part of the fun of it all, going, this is great, I can use it on other things. And you can then try it out. There we go. Hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching.